Hey guys, guess who just finished her first day of IOE? I'm not gonna lie, I am very tired. And mind you, it is... Yeah, it's midnight and I barely got to my hotel. Like, I just got here. I haven't eaten all day because, I don't know, I feel like I don't want to make myself nauseous or I feel like also I had too much anxiety to eat, if that makes sense. Um, honestly, the anxiety kind of wore off towards the middle of the day, like by our second trip. Probably, okay, no, more towards the third trip. I felt like I wasn't like scared anymore or my legs weren't shaky or anything. Um, it definitely gets better the more you like have your own hands-on practice. So um, if you're about to do yours, just, you know, cause as much as I can sit here and tell you, don't, you know, worry about it. I know you're still gonna worry about it because I did. And I had millions of people telling me, you know, don't worry about it. So although I know you're gonna feel anxious regardless, just try to remember that it's another one of those things that once you do it, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. Um, so this is day one of my four day trip. I think I have a four day trip. And then on the fifth day, I just dead head back to base. Um, so yeah, let me show you my hotel room. <music> something I can easily just make for dinner in the microwave and save money from eating out. You know, no Uber Eats. Um, but my hotel room has no microwave. So just learn from my mistakes. So I'm really hungry and nothing's open given the fact that it's past midnight. So I decided to just use the coffee maker to boil the water so that I can eat my mashed potatoes because sometimes you just have to work with what you got. It totally worked. Potatoes and potato chips. The dinner of champions. Okay, I got food since I didn't really get to eat yesterday. Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. What am I gonna do with this? What? That's crazy, but it looks so good. Okay, so it's officially day two. I'm about to get ready. By the way, coffee has become so essential. Also, I forgot to mention, I had a later start time today. We go in at three, so that's why I had more of a lazier morning. I knew I kind of deserved it because we got in super late and then I went to sleep super late. I think, honestly, I only got four hours of sleep because I went to sleep at three something and I woke up at seven something, so hence the coffee. But literally every single day of my IOE schedule ends at midnight or past midnight. All right, let's do this. Day two complete. Or should I say day three because it is past midnight. I just got to my hotel. I am so tired. Today felt a lot longer than yesterday did. I don't know why, but it definitely did. Either way, tomorrow is my last day of IOE because Friday I just deadhead so I don't really think that counts but I'm way too tired to vlog so I will see y'all tomorrow hey, pretty. I just came and threw myself on bed because I am so tired it is 12 49 but guess what I passed IOE not only did I pass but my instructor said I passed with flying colors it was literally the cutest thing because the pilots announced it and so like as the passengers were leaving everyone was like congratulating me and whenever they had announced it like everyone in the cabin clapped to me and I was like oh my god I love this so much like it's so cute and my instructor was like the greatest instructor ever like I got very lucky so yeah we're done with IOE for anyone who's about to do it good luck you got this it's worth the effort um you don't have to be perfect. Don't expect to know everything in the beginning because you won't. You're learning. Your IOE is basically more training, but training for stuff you're actually gonna do on a daily basis. 
and then you're tested at the end. So use those first um, few legs that you get to learn, ask questions, you know, um, and don't overthink it. Don't be hard on yourself. You're learning. So just remember that and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh wait, do you wanna see my last hotel room for this trip? Let me stop being lazy, get up and show y'all real quick. I haven't seen the view though, so we'll see it together. I'm in Palm Springs, by the way. I'm in Palm Springs on Conchola weekend, but I'm here for work. Hmm.